Hello everyone. Hi everyone. Today we are pretty much doing a vampire-esque review. More Dracula than anything, but I had a random Elizabeth, so I was just like, let's just call this the vampire review. <laughs> so, two of these, this Dracula and this Dracula, not Dracula, <laughs> this Dracula and this Elizabeth will be removed from the box. And then we have kind of a surprise box back there, as you can see. I'll be showing that at the end of the video, what is in there. But for right now, I will show you the doll that is not being removed from the box. Which is this one right here. This is the, uh, if I remember right, this is the Wave 2 Drek Eulara. Which was before her sweet... 1600 as it says on the back because it says I can't wait for my sweet 16 1600 hundredth but yeah I am not removing her from the box because it's harder to find like some of the more original dolls kind of like this so she's not coming out of the box and uh, I'm also trying to find her first wave version as well but that one's even more pricier than this one is. And this one, I think I was lucky and got and bid on it and got it for like 10 bucks on eBay if that. 10, 15 dollars if that. But yeah, this is what she looks like. She has the original outfit, of course, because this is the original Jackie Comes with a little Count Fabulous. There's a little, there's a brush and her stand is pink and right there. So you can kind of tell they're kind of original because they actually had different colored stands to represent the dolls. She has her umbrella and it says, and then there's the diary back there, which I just want to try to find her diary by itself so I can eventually read it. But something that most of them don't have, I don't think I can cue it in all that well, is like right there she has a little necklace on, a little pink necklace. And the little bit around her neck is much better, and her lipstick is much darker, and I really like that look on her. But other than that, she's about the same, just like, you know, the earlier stage Dracula, which I love her, and she's not coming out of the box. Okay, now I'm briefly going to show you these two, because well, I'm going to take them out of the box to show you them better. So that's what Elizabeth looks like on the front and on the back. You guys can read that because this is an older doll anyway, so I'm sure you guys have all either own it or know about it. And then here is the Boo York, Boo York, Dracula a doll, which I quite love. And there's the back of the box, which is pretty much the same as most of them. So I'm going to go take these two out of the packaging and show you what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to have to play with Elizabeth's hair later, but she has purple and black in her hair, which is very pretty. She wears this little... She has a very little purple bracelet on. Can't really tell what's on there, but it's really cute. She has purple lips. She has like light purple, pinkish eyes. And she has purple earrings. She's basically just the purple version of Dracula, pretty much. <laughs> but her dress is like old timey looking, which I really like that. And check out these boots. I love her boots. Which are like hearts and black leather, pretty much, and I really like that. And she also, as you know, comes with this, which is her little trophy that got all bent up in the box as I was removing her. She comes with what looks like her cell phone, and she also comes with her diary, of course, and her brush, and she was on her stand when I was showing you guys. And then here is the Boo York, Boo York Draculara. She has really nice hair, though. Um, she's kind of sparkly. 
and she has like purplish pink eyes. She has sunglasses, but I won't be removing those because I like the dolls to stay with all their accessories on. Here is her purse, which is kind of gemmed up. And then she has this like little dress on that's like decorated for like the Boo York style. And then it has like a silver look over it that kind of is in the design of the city itself, as well as the sleeves. Okay. And her shoes are actually designed like a bat. Look at that. See, isn't that cool? And then it's like gems and webs all the way across there. These have to be one of my favorite pairs of Dracula R shoes so far. I like that. And then last but not least, what I was saving for last, I finally got the collector's version of Draculara. The, her, technically it's her Sweet 1600. But, isn't she so pretty? I'm just going to kind of show you guys what she looks like. She has a little top hat on that's made out of webs. Just her little laced umbrella. Her outfit is like all laced and web-like. And then her stand has like bats on it. And I think if I remember right, the uh, diary should be to where I don't have to even open her at all to be able to get it. So I will definitely be reading her diary later on. But look, those eyelashes are like the fake, but kind of realish eyelashes. And I love it. See, isn't she so pretty? I just wanted to show you guys what she looks like. And here's the art on the back of the box. And if you guys can kind of read that. There we go. So, yeah, that is the vampire review. Because I wanted to share that new Draculaura with you. So, if you guys like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know it wasn't as good as I usually do on my videos. But, you know, it was an older doll. A couple older dolls. Plus, I just was showing you the new one. I wasn't really going to review her anyways. Because um, I wasn't going to take her out of the box. So... Sorry it wasn't as much of a review as you wanted, but, you know, I tried, so. Bye, guys.